Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Chloe, and today's video is going to be a chit chat journal with me. It's been a while since I've filmed a chit chat journal with me or even journaled in general. I feel like my journaling schedule is broken down into like monthly intervals. I just don't journal as much anymore and that's just because of uni and all of that. In this video, I'm just going to ramble and talk about basically what's been happening in my life and just an update on what's been going on because there's been a lot of changes and a lot has pretty much happened in my life that I haven't really shared online just because I haven't really had the time to edit or film pretty much anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am just going to do this little voiceover while you guys can watch my journaling process. I had a lot of fun making this spread. It made me feel a bit anxious at first because I just haven't journaled in a while and I just didn't know what was gonna look good and how I wanted it to look at the end. but. I think I like how it turned out. I used a pink color scheme if you saw in the thumbnail and if you didn't know pink is my favorite color so not gonna lie like regardless of how it turned out it was gonna be something that I liked anyway because it has the color pink but yeah, so an update on my life. I just finished my first semester for the year. Um, if you are unaware, I am a uni student and I am studying design. And yeah, I was basically completing my third semester and that lasted over like 12 weeks. And that was like the longest and roughest semester yet in my opinion. It just was a lot to handle because I started uni last year and for the entire year I was basically doing classes online and for me like it was fine because I'm just so used to working online I stay at home a lot and it just didn't bother me as much but this year we actually transitioned back into in-campus classes and there were still options to take the class online like there would be conferences in the class if you just couldn't attend class physically but for the most part I did try to still attend classes physically and traveling just takes a lot of time in Australia which is where I'm from Sydney Australia it's kind of different to America where students usually just go to a university within their city and they don't really move to a dorm space or they don't move like across the country to go to uni. I mean, some people do, but for the most part, most students here just go to a uni within their city and we just travel by train or car or any other form of transport. But yeah, I had to take a train to uni and it was an hour to uni and then an hour back to my house. So that's two hours of travel each day and it was just really tiring. I didn't really go to uni every single day. I definitely just went to uni like the days where I had classes, which I had three classes. So I went on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Some days I attended online and some days I just went physically. But yeah, it was just really tiring. And throughout the entire semester, I experienced a lot of like back-to-back -back assignments i guess it's normal but at the same time the last year that i did uni it wasn't that hectic i feel like every fortnight i had three assignments due on a sunday and it was just so annoying because once i finished one week of assignments i needed to prepare for the next one the following week you know it's just it was just a lot to handle and i just didn't even have time to think about youtube or social media and just posting and all of that as much as I wanted to, like I just couldn't. I wanted to be on top of my work and just not stress out too much by leaving it last minute. So whenever I did get the time to rest or not think about school, instead of thinking about more work or just the pressures of social media and posting and all of that, I just relaxed and focused on playing games with my friends because that was just my time to relax. I played a lot of Valorant during the night and just whenever I had the time to, I've just been so obsessed with Valorant which is a first person shooting game if you didn't know but yeah I've been and that's just pretty much what has been going on with my life in terms of uni and my free time you too. 
other than that, the other update that I made as of recently is that I changed my name on YouTube and Instagram. If you didn't know or notice, I finally moved on from the name Keynotes and I've changed to the username Love Chloe. I've pretty much been wanting to change my username for a while now. I just felt so held back and restricted with the word or name Keynotes. Keynotes is a name that I made in the beginning of course when I started journaling in 2017 or 2018 and keynotes is basically a mix of kino from pentagon which is a k-pop group and notes which is a reference to taking notes journaling and all of that so it basically represents my love for both journaling and k-pop but eventually i just started to feel a bit restricted because there was just so much more that i wanted to do and i just didn't want to be held back and be known as just a person who just focuses on k-pop or journaling if that makes sense especially during this period of time i haven't been into k-pop as of lately and i haven't even had the time to journal as much i do still love k-pop and i still do love stationery and journaling but there's just other parts of my life that make me me i love games i love sharing moments with my friends and family i love or am getting into fashion and i just want to do so much more and also i wanted to represent myself through my channel by firstly using my name i have been referred to as key for a while or i know some people know that my name is chloe but there are also some people who know me as key or kiki just because my name is keynote which i don't blame them because of course that's the first thing you'll think of and you just don't instantly think oh Kino from Pentagon you know not everyone's gonna know that I just want to be represented by my name and the reason why I chose Love Chloe. It was inspired by a few YouTubers that I love on YouTube. So one is Wholeheartedly Clara. Clara makes vlogs and I just love the concept of your name kind of being like the ending of a letter that you write. So at the same time, it's still kind of related to notes or journaling or lettering. But I want my content to represent like, oh, this is from me to you. Love chloe yeah another inspiration was sincerely katie she also does journaling bullet journaling videos yours truly chloe she has amazing videos as well she does vlogs and all of that and i just decided to go with love chloe kind of like yeah like i said from me to you this is my content that i want to share to you i think i kind of just blabbered on a while about that but long story short i just wanted to share my other interests in life and just anything that happens in my life that i like and also just represent myself as me and not based off my love for a korean man or any k-pop idol or anything like that i still love k-pop and even though i'm not as dedicated and aware or even attentive of what goes on and the comebacks that come out but i still appreciate the music and what the idols do and how passionate they are and all of that i just you know don't really have the time to stand and also don't have the time to watch all the dramas and tv shows and reality shows of these idols lately i've just been super focused on myself and the people around me and i also want to share that with you because you guys are also really special to me because without you i wouldn't even have this platform and i wouldn't even feel as connected and as confident as I am now I feel like you guys have really helped me become more confident with my speaking skills and also just my editing skills and just trying new things like filming and other types of videos and stuff like that but yeah overall that is the life update 
of my life i have a few vlogs that are gonna come out soon because as much as i didn't have time to film journal videos or bullet journal videos or planner videos or anything like that while i was in uni i still tried to vlog a little bit like vlog my life and vlog my week and all of that hopefully you guys like that content but yeah that is pretty much it i pretty much just rambled and talked about whatever i don't know if i made sense but i I hope I did and you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys support my decision to change my name and I hope that you guys will still appreciate and know me as me and not forget who I am regardless if Keynotes is still alive or not. Keynotes was a really good part of my life and hopefully you guys will be a part of this new chapter of Love Chloe. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day. Please take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll I'll just talk to you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.